Good afternoon and welcome to this third day from uh, Unix Denmark Open 2012. My name is Rasmus Beck and I'll be your commentator and host for uh, today's badminton show here from Odense in Denmark. We are ready, almost ready for uh, getting the day started. We will start out with the ladies singles, German Juliane Schenk against um, her opponent from Thailand, Sub uh, Ray. Interesting match uh, from the beginning of the day here in uh, Yonex Denmark Open 2012. Steen Peterson, former national coach of Denmark, you're with me uh, today. Welcome also to you. Thank you very much. What should we expect from, uh, from today's schedule? Yeah, we have a lot of interesting matches here on, uh, on court two. Um, a lot of international matches um, and um, I'm looking forward to this day. Uh, we, we start out with the with two uh, pretty interesting ladies singles and then we have uh, Sony Konkoro of Indonesia who struggled a bit yesterday. So it'll be interesting to see if he can um, get the better of um, the man who beat Peter Gale yesterday, Surab Burma from uh, India. And it just continues down the line with uh, interesting matches. So it'll be a great badminton day here in uh, Odense. First match on uh, the schedule for us today. Juliani Schenk from uh, Germany, seated six in this tournament against Sabsi Ray from uh, Thailand. We are working with some uh, technical issues uh, on the court right now, but uh, Stine, if we look uh, on, the, on this match uh, coming up for us here at court two, what can we expect from, uh, from that match? Yeah, it's two uh, technical uh, strong players. Um, Schenk uh, is a bit more experienced than uh, the young Thai player. Uh, Sapsire is um, is one of a bunch of uh, strong ladies singles players coming from Thailand, emerging uh, on the international scene here during the last uh, three years. Yeah, they, they are doing some good uh, work with the youth uh, ladies yeah. singles in in Thailand. They are. There's there's a lot of talent uh, in in the entire ladies singles. I was a bit disappointed yesterday by the number one um, ladies singles player from Thailand, Rachanok Intanon. I think she didn't look really motivated against uh, Olympic gold medalist uh, Lee Shui Wei. And um, let's hope that uh, Sub Sire can, um, can put up a more inspired performance here today. Ladies and gentlemen, Subsuri with the uh, service from the beginning of this match against uh, Juliane Schenk from uh, Germany. Schenk, who is, as I said, seeded number six, number seven on the world ranking. Subsuri number 27. And uh, Schenk is the favorite in, uh, in this match. Two players met in uh, Indonesia earlier this year. Where Juliana Schenk won in two very close games, 24-22, 21-18. An aggressive start from uh, Sapsire. Three nil lead. And we, we saw that yesterday as well that. Uh, Schenk was a bit of a slow starter in her match against uh, Eriko Hirose from Japan. Yeah, but then she got started and then uh, then the ship was sailed for, uh, for Hirose in a kind of way that you could see that, uh, that Schenk was controlling all of it. Yeah, it was quite easy for her. She moves very well on the court and uh, I believe her to be a better mover as well compared to Subsare. So, Schenk, uh, quite a big favorite in this match, the way I see it.
And as we also have had it the first days, you have the opportunity for asking us a question in the commentator's box. And uh, the best question of the day will be honored with a signed poster. Send us an email on uh, Denmark Open at badminton.dk. Denmark Open at badminton.dk. And we'll try to answer all your questions that you might have. Great shot here from uh, Sabsire, but also uh, and, and kind of easy point, isn't it? And the previous shot from Schenk was way too short, but um, still an excellent shot from the young Thai. Instead, we saw uh, Julian Sheng yesterday uh, on our court uh, against uh, Irigo Irose. What what kind of uh, style should she play today compared to to yesterday, in your opinion? I think she, she, she's going to play exactly the same style. She relies on her own game. Um, she's good enough to rely on her own game on on most of the uh, opponents. Of course, some, perhaps some small tactical changes, but but. Um, that will be just um, variations of some kind. And she looks to be in, in really great shape, Shank. Yeah, she does. Excellent shot. Great shot. And 11-5 uh, and the first interval here at the third day on uh, Yonex Denmark Open, the first match we have had. We have uh, a quiz running today as we have had the previously days. If you can answer to this question, you have the opportunity for winning a shirt from uh, Yonex. Yonex sponsored shirt. How old is Peter Gade? How old is Peter Gade? Let me know if you know the answer. Denmark Open at badminton.dk Denmark Open at badminton.dk. How old is Peter Gade? And please to fill in your address as well so that we can uh, ship the shirt in the right direction when the tournament is uh, over here in uh, Odense. And uh, Steen, we saw uh, yesterday that uh, Juliana Schenk uh, does not have a coach. Um, we talked a bit about it uh, yesterday. When when she's, she's doing that good as she is right now, she probably don't need, need one, does she? No, it's, uh, it's a choice as a player whether you want to to use a coach. And um, Schenk is one of the few players that choose not to. Sometimes you see the European players not using coaches in Asia simply because the association doesn't have the funding to send coaches. Um, but um, 
for Shank. It's a, it's an act of choice not to be coached. And there's some, um, some good reasons uh, for that, because it can be frustrating having uh, different coaches unless uh, it's, it's the same coach traveling to all the tournaments. And that's not the case, not in Europe at least. Uh, and, and I see that Asia doesn't have the full coaching crew here as well. We don't see uh, Zhang Ning with the ladies' singles from China and so on. No. Men's doubles head coach from Malaysia, Tang Kim Her, isn't here as well. So, Seven, so you have to operate with different coaches, and that could also be positive because they can give you some some uh, different inspiration. But uh, but isn't it dangerous to change change too much? It depends whether you whether you know if you know all the coaches closely, uh, they should be able to adapt to the players uh, different styles here in uh, the sports park in Odin's are uh, not working at the moment. Slowly coming up seems. Right now they indicate that Juliana Scheng is leading 4-0. Yeah, that's not quite right. Turn 11. Good comeback uh, here after the interval from uh, Sapsuray. <laughs> Scoring five straight points. It's, it seems like she's under control, uh, Schenk, in my book. <laughs> Although she actually lost five points in a row, and <laughs> but. We saw it yesterday against Irosa that she was in, in, in the lead, losing, losing points, but mentally she's so strong, so I, I'm not nervous at all. No, and we sort of take a, a small break here and, and playing a good rally, so sort of getting, getting herself together. Yeah. Nice little deception from Sapsure there. Just a little flick in the wrist. Change of uh, racket, I guess, from uh, what? From a uh, shank. No, I think, it's, it's I think actually knee. she's bleeding, perhaps from her knee or something. We saw her yesterday taking uh, taking a dive. In in the match against uh, Hiroso, also on her knees. Yeah. So probably it, uh, it's the same thing going on for for her today. Excellent winner combination here. What I like with, with Juliana Schenk is she's losing five points in a row, but takes a short break and just continues working and working and working. And now yeah. she uh, she's, she's up with three points once again. And she has a reputation amongst the, the Danish girls as being really um, strong mentally. 
able to focus even though the pressure is high. Wow, that's a good shot. Bit of luck as well. <laughs> you think? Just, just hitting the tape, but um, totally unreturnable for uh, for a substrate. shot once again from uh, Juliana Schenk. She's very good at the cross on the net, Schenk. Yeah, she has excellent technique. Juliana Schenk, who have uh, won a lot of minor European tournaments. Also a bronze medal from the World Championships in uh, London 2011. But still chasing the big, the big biggest title in, in the Premier Series. Yeah, I think actually she won the Super Series this yeah, summer here. Yeah, S Singapore. It's a huge achievement for, for the German girl. She's been a talent all since her junior days. And she's a top three player in, in Europe for sure. Uh, Tina Balanto uh, has announced that she will retire uh, after all England in next year and, and She's yeah, she's uh, she's set to to take over the throne. Um, probably she'll be challenged by uh, Carolina Marin from from Spain. But um, Schenk, um, runner-up at the Europeans in uh, 2010 and 2012. So mm -hmm. 2014 could be her year. I don't know if she's actually played Carolina Marin, but uh, it would be an interesting match because she's a very attacking player. And, uh, close call here by the linesman. Yeah. Tend to agree with him. What does it tell you, uh, Steen? We have a cow, uh, Colina Marin from, from Spain. Uh, young talent, um, also one of the, the players who's going for the youth, uh, the junior world championship. Spain coming into the scene in, in, in badminton. Yeah, definitely. Um, I know some of the Spanish players uh, quite well, and, and they're working really hard with the national coach, um, Fernando Rivas. So. Um, they, they have uh, another female player, uh, Beatriz Corrales, who's also quite, quite good. And um, it's so important that there are more players coming up together. Still, they struggle a bit on, on the male side, but uh, definitely uh, on the move, Spain. Mm -hmm. And you just uh, asked if the Schengen Marina have had a matchup. They only have met once in the International Open Morocco 2011, and it was a clear, uh, clear victory for, uh, for Carolina Marin at that point. Uh, one year ago in Morocco. Um, that would be a, a European tour circuit, so I'm not sure it had the full attention of uh, Schenk of Schenk, no. the tournament. As far as I know, Schenk is, um, is in the German army, or at least has been in the German army, and that has at some point of the season affected her play because she's been uh, working and uh, practicing so hard uh, in the army that um, she couldn't practice as much badminton as she liked to. But, but look at the body she got from the army then. 100% fit, a lot of muscles, strong legs, strong over body. Yeah. Perhaps we should join the army, Rasmus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not in the shape and I think you're too old. No offense, but I think you're too old. Soft touch on the drop shots. Really, really nice. Ah! 
20, Game point for uh, Juliane Schenk. In the control in the first game. Schenk, six point lead for uh, the best German women singles for uh, many, many years. At least the best uh, German born lady single. And yes, of course. Yeah, of course. They had Shuha Wen, who they had some help, represented Germany, but was originally Chinese born. And there's no doubt that um, Schenk is the best German born lady singles player ever. They won a bronze medal through uh, Petra uh, Reichel, formerly Petra Oberseer. Um, the sister of uh, Birgit Michels, who's playing uh, in the mixed doubles here mm -hmm. uh, in uh, Anaheim in 2005. But um, in my mind, there's no doubt that um, Schenk has the highest level ever by any German female player. Yeah, and she has been very doing very uh, well, well in uh, in the doubles as well, uh, Juliane Schenk. In the but now it's 100% it's focusing on uh, on the singles. Yeah, she's a great doubles player and, and she helped uh, Germany win the European title for a women's team. Teamed up with uh, with uh, Birgit Michels actually in, in the second doubles and she was able to play second because she doesn't participate in, in ladies doubles and, uh, and beat uh, the Danish uh, pairing of uh, Marie Rock and Lina Kruse to, to take a 3-1 victory over Denmark. And it's a great player to just put in on a, on a women's double, a player like Schenk. Totally uh, most valuable player in, in that match, even though she lost her single match against Tina Baun. Yeah, and we've also seen Tina Baun in the, in the women's doubles for some few times, uh, doing the Europa Cup, the European Championship, and also in, in the Danish League. Mostly, I think, in the Danish League. Uh, she was fielded in, in a match against Russia, uh, I remember, because uh, I was the coach back then. In, uh so it was your choice? Yeah, um, it was. Your but decision? The, but the, the match never played because we already uh, took the lead 3-0, so she actually never got, got into play. And, and luckily for that, because it could be too much for her playing two matches that close to each other. for Sabs Rage to get a good start in the second game. She uh, didn't manage to do much good in the in the first one. Absolutely. Yeah. Still, it's hard to see uh, the tie coming back here. I think Schenk has looked in, in great shape, and um, as you said in the first game, in control, even though she lost a couple of rallies. This game will play either Pilatrix Manoputi from uh, Indonesia or Lijuru from uh, China, the Olympic champion from uh, London in the quarterfinals. And it would be great, uh, in my opinion, to to see Sheng against uh, Lijuru. Yeah, me too. I'd like to see that match. And uh, oh, oh, 
happened there. <laughs> yeah, you can see that Schenk was uh, admitting that she maybe was a little lucky on that one. Took top of the net, the shuttle from uh, the last stroke from from Schenk. And uh, Steam, we got the first question of the day from uh, Tomo. He's asking, when did uh, you, when did BWF invent the, the Super Series system? Um, the way I recall it, uh, the first Super Series tournament was played in uh, 2007 in Malaysia, and it was actually uh, won in the men's singles by uh, by Peter Gade. Uh, quite fascinating story. He was uh, he was very very ill during the flight from Europe to Asia and uh, was hospitalized for two days, left the bed and went on to win the tournament. Yeah, great way to do it. Yeah. We were joking a bit that oh. we would knock him on the head on the next flight to Asia <laughs> so that he could win another tournament. <laughs> and what about the Premier Series system? It's like a, a grand slam for, for, for the sport of badminton. It's a quite new, new thing. Yeah, I believe it's um, in 2011 was uh, the first time that it was a Premier Series, right? I think you're right. And Denmark have made a bit for continuing having this Premier Series. Of course, this saw a huge rise in, in prize money when, uh, with the, the Korea Premier Series offering uh, one million dollar prize money. Unfortunately, the Koreans have not wanted to extend that. Uh, do you know why it's that? Uh, thing? Uh, no, I, uh, I don't know the, the reasons behind that. They've uh, applied for a Super Series instead. The prize money in uh, those tournaments here is between 350,000 US dollars and up to the one million dollars. That's a lot of money in, in the badminton sport. Uh, prize money on, on one million. It's the first time we've had a prize money of one million, but um, yeah, compared to to other sports, it's perhaps not so much, but um, still a significant rise for badminton. Another great rally going on here. Shuttle changed. Julian Schenk. Got another question where are there other Premier tournaments played? Korea, all England in uh, Birmingham, Indonesia, and then China, China Open. They played in the uh, middle of November. China Open is in um, Shanghai, and uh, Indonesia Open in, in Jakarta. In so Jakarta, yeah. And Korea in, in Seoul. Yeah, so... Odin's uh, by far the smallest city to host uh, a Premier Series. Yeah, no doubt about that. Oh, she ain't lucky at the net here. Population a, little a bit less than 170,000 in Odense, uh, third biggest city of Denmark. Yeah, and 
just for comparing uh, the whole population of Denmark is 5 yeah, yeah. million, yeah. so um, Denmark's population could easily stay in uh, the half part of uh, Guangzhou, China. Yeah, and Denmark also by far the smallest country to have a Premier Series. And uh, a bit longer rallies here in uh, in the second game, Steen and uh, Sapsare also playing a bit better. Yeah, it's trying to fight her way into this match. Great lift from Sapsuray. And called white from uh, the line judge and uh, two point lead at this interval. I don't think that was white. Nope. Sapsare is looking uh, puzzled and looking at the coach and the line judge. If it was anything, it was long, but it was called good on the long line. for Schenk here. I'm looking a bit slowed down in the, in the second game here. Yeah, Sapsray taking some, some chances he didn't in, in the first, I think. But often we, we talk, we're talking about getting, getting the match hard for your opponents. But is it, it's, that's not actually the way to, to beat Schenk, isn't it? Because she can make it hard as well. Yeah, 
I probably you wouldn't want to run with her, at least not if you are unable to control her by making precise and accurate shots. If you can do that, then you can have a lot of patience and there's no problem just to let her run. Good shots here from Sapsray and excellent defense from Schenk. see that she's applying the male defense from uh, first seen by Lin Dan where she is down on her knees in the, in the defense and stretching and up very again uh, up again very very fast and it's funny when you when you watch uh, Juliani Sheng walking down on the baseline actually like talking out to the chairs uh, where the coaches normally sits but it's empty for for her. Perhaps she's pretending that she has a virtual coach sitting out there. I noticed the same as you. <laughs> just talking to herself. Please welcome the court officials on to court number three. Do you think she has a coach coach for the game planning? Uh, I know she works with the uh, with the sports psychologist. And I think she discusses game plan with uh, with some people. Uh, I would be su surprised if she, if she didn't. Um, it could easily be a, a coach that's not attached to the German national team and so on. So. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, it's actually what you what you try to accomplish as a coach that that you, you're no longer needed. That the players can read the games themselves and, and um, take these tactical uh, moves themselves. on the back court from uh, Zapsire and we see a lot of uh, short services from uh, from Julian Schenk is that the way to do it was she putting too much pressure on herself in that way no it's uh, I think that's uh, significant uh, it's not like uh, Zapsire is, is really uh, dangerous attacking from the baseline so see a lot more high services in the ladies singles than in the men's but um, shank mostly short services excellent rally here yeah fantastic oh it was wide wasn't it I think they're going to mop the court after this one. It's a tough one, this one, this rally. Excellent play. I think we've witnessed so far a very, very good match between these two ladies singles players. point lead for Julian Schenk. 
remember that we have got a lot of news, photos, and uh, other stuff from Ionix Denmark Open at our Facebook site. Go to facebook.com slash badminton DK. Here we got a lot of exclusive videos and stuff. Believing that Schenk touched the shuttle on its way out, but um, almost impossible to call for the umpire. now and the, and the training environment in in Thailand for the young lady singers must be uh, must be good all all those talents in one in one spot yeah good practicing opportunity for each other yeah they must have a good setup Yeah. And, and Subsuri really need to do uh, something else to to get back into this match. Otherwise, Schenk is going to cruise to victory. What shall she do, uh, Subsuri? Yeah, she, she definitely needs to do something else. She, she tried this very, very long rally, and, and Schenk just played it back at her. So um, I think she'll she'll need to attack a bit more. I'm not sure though that she's capable of doing it. Oh, nice drop shot again. 18, Such an excellent touch on these drop shots. Baseline two points to go for uh, Schenk. Does not have any problems in this uh, match, Schenk, although she has been running a lot. Time to wait to do that shot. Too high on the on the net from uh, Shank on that one. Sapsuri has actually played quite good on on the really close um, net shots. a match point for German Juliane Schenk, ready to play herself into the quarterfinals here at the Yonex Denmark Open. 
and she deserved the spot in the in the quarterfinal, in my opinion, uh, Steen. Yeah, she's been dominant in this game. Um, so we'll hopefully see her tomorrow against uh, Lee Shui. Um, I think a match that could be difficult for for Schenk. Um, Quite well, but um, she needs to to be at her absolute highest level to beat the Chinese player. Yeah, living the dream a bit longer. Subsure just. Uh, just four points? That's not a problem, is it? Oh, it's a big <laughs> problem. It's four points and another game. Yeah. Twenty-eight-year-old Juliane Schenk from Germany is ready for the quarterfinals at uh, Yonex Denmark Open 2012, winning 21-14, 21-16. Again, uh, Sapsire from um, Thailand. And uh, very short, uh, Stein. Uh, well, why does he win this uh, this game, Schenk? Better movements, uh, great, um, great strokes, solid basic. 